Hey guys, it's your Tech Girl Mary and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Yes, tama yung pinindot nyo. Isa na namang smartphone from the brand Itel yung pag-uusapan natin. But this time, it's their budget gaming phone. Alam kong medyo familiar yung device. Alam ko ang nasa isip nyo, pare-parehas tayo. Yes, alam ko, magkahawig sila. Anyway, we have here a collaboration with Free Fire. Ito po ay isang kumbaga PR kit nila, which is I think only exclusive sa KOLs and tech creators. But if you watch the whole video, there will definitely be a surprise waiting for you. Anyway, while I was unboxing this Ital X Free Fire PR kit nila, in fairness, I feel like I was unboxing a Leica camera because of their red logo. At the same time, the black box. It contains the lanyard, phone cooling fan, earbuds, phone case, and of course, yung mismong smartphone natin. In fairness, I like the packaging of their Ital RS4. I like the magnetic touch. It gives a really good unboxing experience. Of course, we got the phone, which is an elegant beige colorway. There is a super branding on the lower left and the RS logo sa camera mismo. It also comes with a clear jelly case, the 45 watts Ital power brick, and of course, the USB-C Cable. Alright, so aside dito sa elegant beige na color that they have, this is also available in Larex Black and Silvery White. Actually, yung dalong yun, yung pwede yung ma-purchase agad-agad sa market. And this colorway naman will be to follow pa. Buti na lang yung collaboration nila is only through the accessories and of course yung gaming mismo and not on the physical appearance of the phone. Good thing for those non-gamers who wants to buy the RS4 as well and gusto ng mas simpleng look. Obviously, to those who are new, the Helio G99 chipset is not entirely new. It's the same chipset that can be found on the Techno Spark 20 Pro, even on the Infinix Note 4 and as well as the Techno Pova 6, yung phone na nireview natin previously. So siguro ang tanong na lang ng karamihan, anong kinaganda ng chipset na to ngayon? As you would expect from a phone in 2024, wala akong naging problema sa kanya in terms of gaming, sa Call of Duty, even on Asphalt 9, and of course, Free Fire. This phone was also able to manage a fair amount at 120Hz refresh rate. May mga iilan na noticeable frame drops lang of course, especially from playing Asphalt 9. Now, for games, again, like Free Fire, so far, actually, smooth yung gaming. I think the Z-axis motor really helps, especially when it comes to bringing strong vibration. At the same time, this also has a gyroscope sensor that provided our gaming experience a more visual information and yung mga 3D spatial effect. So, yun, kung yung mga nilalaro nyo lang naman ay COD, Free Fire, tapos Bihira kayo mag triple A games like Asphalt 9. So obviously, it is a budget gaming phone at pag sinabi nating budget, specific lang yung mga games na pwede nating laruin sa kanya smoothly. Anyway, isa sa mga big deal for sure sa inyo while playing your game is of course having good set of speakers. They have no collaboration with any audio brand but it's really good to know na dual set yung speakers niya. Wala masyadong struggle when it comes to hearing clear sounds. Hindi rin masyadong the muffled kasi dalawa nga yung pinanggagalingan ng audio. So yes, so far yung speaker sounds nitong RS4 is clearer compared to its competition na halos isa lang yung speaker. <laughs> Anyway, I mentioned that this phone also has a 120Hz refresh rate combined with a 6.6-inch HD display. So yes, you heard that right, HD lamang yung kanyang display resolution. Actually, ang ganda no, ng 120Hz refresh rate yung meron yung RS4. Medyo sayang lang kasi halos walang bisa yung pagkakaroon ng high refresh rate sa phone na mababa lang yung resolution. So, i-weigh in na lang kung ano yung mas importante sa inyo. So far, napansin ko rin na medyo makapal yung bezels niya as compared to other budget phones that we have na nasa ganitong price point. But good news to those who are very specific on their refresh rate, there is an option to select auto switch. There is also a 120Hz, 90Hz, and 60Hz. Though, I'll be honest, so far with my one week of 
usage, hindi masyadong accurate yung auto switch refresh rate niya. So most of the time, I'm forced to use the 120Hz or the 90Hz kapag medyo gusto ko ng mas mahabang battery life. Anyway, aside that from having a 120Hz refresh rate, a Helio G99 Ultimate chipset. This phone also has the 45 watts charging speed. Actually, to be specific, it's 45 watts hypercharge, and this is also combined with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Actually, ang sabi ni Ital guys, this comes with a smart charge AI optimization. Hindi lang yon low temperature charging lang din siya na kung saan under 33 degrees Celsius lang yung temperature niya. Una, 45 watts speed. Obviously, the fastest charging speed that can be found on an ITEL smartphone right now. Dati, kung aalala nyo, ang ganda ng mga phones ng ITEL, kahit na budget phones lang sila, pero medyo disappointing on the charging part. Ngayon, mukhang they really are trying their best to give us a fast charging experience. And yup, tama naman yung claim nila. In just 32 minutes, we were able to charge the battery to 78%. Sobrang lapet doon sa 80% na pre-nomis nila. Now, on to the cameras. Alam kong mukhang apat yung camera na meron tayo. Base sa setup na meron siya. But to set your expectations, dalawa lang po yung meron tayo. One is a flash and the other one is just there. <laughs> Wala siyang camera. It has a 50 megapixels main camera. And the other one is the usual AI camera that they put sa mga budget phones nila. Lastly, of course, we got a punch hole that houses the 8 megapixels front camera. Actually, the punch hole, I like it. In fairness naman, kadalasan kasi sa ITEL, hindi punch hole yung nilalagay nila kung de notch. And since 2024 na ngayon, siguro naisip nila na it's really time to change it. Actually, ang expectations ko sa output ng camera niya is mababa lang. Considering na again, hindi ito yung selling point ng phone. Opening the camera app, actually, there is two zoom toggles. We have the 1x and of course the 2x. Pero pwede pa kayong mag-zoom up to 10 times. There is also the 50 megapixels option on top. And yes, we can also use here yung 2 times digital zoom. We also got the portrait mode, super night, we have Pro mode, short video, panorama, documents, sky shop, slow motion, time lapse, dual video, and AR space. Napansan ko rin, while taking selfies, meron siyang dalawang modes. We have the wide, which is the usual focal length while taking selfies, and you also get a close up selfie shot. Now, in terms of the software, hindi manention ni brand kung gaano katagal siya. In terms of updates like the OS and security updates. So, in terms of longevity, usually yung ganito, 1 to 2 years. So, yes, in terms of longevity, medyo hindi siya sigurado. Anyway, in terms of price point, I know dito curious kayo. Actually, dalawa yung configuration na meron tayo sa kanya. We have the 16GB of RAM na may 128GB of storage. The SRP is 6,299 pesos. Meron naman tayong 24GB of RAM na may 256GB of storage which is priced at 7,499 pesos. Actually, may mga freebies sila. Katulad ng ITEL A10 earbuds or the ITEL Buds Fire. Ang alam ko, limited quantity lang to. So, I think it is first come, first serve. Now, ang sila nila, it will start by April 15. And from what I know, halos 4,000 pesos. Pwede nyong mabili yung phone by using Shopee vouchers. Actually, sabi yung attractive ng price point niya, lalong-lalo na if makukuha nyo nga talaga yung phone na 4,000 plus pesos. Tapos, nasamahan pa ng libreng earphones from the brand. Nakakatawa din kasi, no? Bukod sa stylish yung phone, it is also gaming capable. Yun nga lang, syempre, nakikita kong downside lang talaga sa phone is yung HD display niya. Kahit rin na simple yung camera setup niya, it is capable of getting the shots that I want. So, I would say, yes, nag-stand out talaga yung phone lalo na sa price point niya. So to put it simply guys, if you want to pay 
an entry level of price for a phone like this that feels like a phone at a 10,000 price point, then maybe you should get yourself the Itel RS4. Anyway, for the giveaway, actually, ganun pa rin yung rule. All you need to do is share this exact video on your Facebook na naka public so that I can see it once I choose the winner. And of course, use the hashtag MaryXRS4 para madali siyang hanapin. The price, obviously, yung PR kit na meron ako kasama yung smartphone nila na bago. Winner will be announced on my Facebook page before the month of April ends. So good luck. Again, it's your Tech Girl Mary and see you in our next video. Bye!